How you doing? I'm Whimsery, and today we're going to be watching Aliens, as you can tell. Um, I know, I know, we just did Alien uh, last week, but um, once I start something, I have to finish it. I binge watch shows, and I guess that translates to movies, so here we are. A lot of y'all say uh, it's really good. Some even say that it's better than the first one. It doesn't really matter to me if it's better or worse or terrible at this point. I just want to continue with the story. Like I said in the last one, I just, I need to know what happens, you know what I'm saying? Another reason I want to do it right away is because I read most of my comments and um, sometimes there's spoilers, so I really, really, really want to avoid that. So I'm just going to get it out of the way so <laughs> it can't be ruined. I like to go into these really knowing nothing about the movie. That being said, I did cheat a little bit, okay? I looked up the year. Uh, this is 1986, so it's like seven years after the first one. And yeah, when I went to go check the year, I accidentally looked at the cast too. <laughs> my bad. Uh, it doesn't matter that much because I don't really know anyone in it, um, except for Sigourney Weaver, of course, and then uh, Bill Paxton sounded familiar, so I looked at his face and I was like, I know you. I know you from Titanic and Twister, which Twister's one of my favorite movies, so. Other than that, I really have no idea about the storyline, nothing. I know that it's two and a half hours, so I better get to it. Let's watch the movie. Oh, and by the way, we are going with the extended version. I had that recommended way more than the theatrical version, so that's what I'm going with. I know there's going to be people saying, oh, you shouldn't have done that, but there's the I can never win, so extended version it is. Rated R for violence, smoking, foul language. Not for scary images or whatever like last time. Okay, it's not going to be as scary. It is interesting, it's called Aliens. Plural. Like in the last one, there was just the one growing at a rapid pace. I'm expecting something different. Ooh, James Cameron. The music isn't as creepy crawly yet. We'll see what happens. There's still time. No jump scares. Oh, hi. She's back. Oh, wow, that looks really good. So proud of myself I didn't jump at that. Leveling up. Oh gosh. Please be human. It's not that much to ask. She has been through so much. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. They look human. Nice. You guys better be nice to her. She's awesome. Bio readouts are all on the green. Looks like she's alive. Ooh, I know that planet. <laughs> Thank God. Where am I? You're safe. You're at Gateway Station. Been here a couple of days. How are you, you stupid cat? <laughs> I'm Burke. I'm Carter Burke. I work for the company. How long was I out there? This might be a shock to you. Spit it out! 57 years. What? Oh, holy crap, that's so long! Oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no! Of course. Bad dreams again? <laughs> it was just a dream. I really hate that. Although this time I'm really glad. It's alright. You're gone. <laughs> oh, pretty. What about like her family and everyone would be dead that she used, she knew, or close to it? Is there any word about my daughter? I really think we should worry about the hearing now. There are going to be a lot of heavyweights in there. You Do you know. have any news about my daughter? I didn't know she had a daughter. Amanda Ripley McLaren, age 66. And that was at the time of her death, two years ago. Amy. Oh, I can't imagine how. No children. Promised her that I'd be home for her birthday. Her 11th mm. birthday. Oh. I'd just like to go. Uh... Oh, and that's my favorite. He's my favorite. This is sad! How many different ways do you want me to tell the same story? The lifeboat's flight recorder corroborates some elements of your account. The Stromo set down on LV-426. It resumed its course and was subsequently set for self-destruct by you. I told you. We sat mm -hmm. down there on company orders to get this thing, which destroyed my crew. The analysis team found no physical evidence of the creature you described. Because I blew it out of the goddamn airlock. Yeah, you did. Like I said. They didn't find any trace. There was like the, the acid and the... 
the rock, no indigenous life. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? <laughs> it was an alien ship, it was not from there. A creature that gestates inside a living human host. Yes. Mm -hmm. Concentrated acid for blood. That's right. Yeah. Kane, who went into that ship, said he saw thousands of eggs there. If one of those things gets down here, then that will be all the- Warrant Officer E. Ripley has acted with questionable judgment. Okay, then. Said license is hereby suspended indefinitely. Nobody believes her? There have been people there for over 20 years, and they never complained about any hostile organism. Mm -hmm. Terraformers. How many colonists? 60, maybe 70 families. Holy crap. Do you mind? Oh, that is so dangerous. How? Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think we're, we're catching up here. This is interesting. Population 150. It takes two weeks to get an answer out here, and the answer is always don't, don't ask. ask. <laughs> this place looks kind of gnarly. Come on, have a look at this, will you? Folks, we have scored big this time. What is it, Dad? Should we take a look inside? No, this is so familiar feeling. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, it looks so nasty over here. It's so windy, gross. You can stay inside. I mean it. Be right back. Bye. Oh, gosh. You stay in there. You don't need to be as dumb as your parents. They've been gone a long time. <laughs> oh, hell no! My sentiments exactly. It's back. Oh, it's that same, you know, I don't even know what to call that. I'm, I'm glad to see you. I want to stay on this planet. This is Lieutenant Gorman of the Colonial Marine Corps. <laughs> Ripley, nice. we have to talk. Nope. They've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. What? Now you want me to go back out there? There's no way. I can guarantee your safety. No, you can't. We've been trained to deal with situations like this. You don't need me. I'm not a soldier. I would like you there as an advisor. What's your interest in all this? We're getting into a lot of terraforming now. Building better worlds. Yeah, yeah. Now. I saw the commercial. <laughs> I heard you're working in the cargo docks. Running loaders and forklifts, that yeah, sort of thing. so? Yeah, so? It's the only thing that you could get. Uh, the company has already agreed to pick up your contract. Get back on the horse. Spare me, Burke. I've had my psych evaluation this month. <laughs> I would not be any good to you if I did. Here, she's got PTSD. Don't sh her, weirdo. Just think about it. No. Very pushy and bribey. Rude. Just stay on Earth with Jonesy. I support this. <laughs> you look very good for having passed 56 years. <laughs> I know what stasis is. Okay. <laughs> that part would be cool. Not like it did her any good, though. Hello. Hello? Ripley. You're going out there to destroy them, not to study. Not to bring back. That's the plan. You have my word on it. Are you naked, sir? All right, I'm in. I think. <laughs> Good. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna chit chat with you. You're staying here. That's a different cat. I think he's been different cats. I'm gonna look that up after this. Oh, that looks really good. You've come a long way. She is one brave person to agree to this. Ooh. Ooh, this looks cool. This looks so different. Oh, that's a, that's a lot more people than was on the last one. Ooh, this is new. Oh, I see she found some underwear that wasn't like a children's size 10. Nice. They ain't paying us enough for this, man. Not enough to have to wake up to your face, Drake. <laughs> In the Marine Corps, it's like a day on the farm. I love the car. Nice Man, this floor is freezing. <laughs> you want me to do fetch and slippers for you? Gee, would you, sir? I'd like that. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I can do one of those. Apparently, she saw an alien once. <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. Well, she did. Rude. Vasquez, have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? It's a good comeback. There's some juicy colonist daughters we have to rescue from their virginity. What's this crap supposed to be? Cornbread, I think. <laughs> the food's still bad. Oh, there he is. Hey, Bishop, do the thing with the Oh, please. Oh, man, all right. Oh, this. Hey, what are you doing? 
Trust me. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap! That'd be so scary though. That's quite a skill. It wasn't funny, man. Yeah, it was. Mr. Burke? Yeah, thanks. Is that the adults table? Thought you never miss, Bishop. You never said anything about an android being on board. We always have a synthetic on board. I prefer the term artificial person. Ripley's last trip out, the artificial person malfunctioned. Malfunctioned? <laughs> a few deaths were involved. Yes. That could never happen now with our behavioral inhibitors. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh I don't blame her. Just stay away from me, Bishop. You got that straight? Yeah, that last guy. <laughs> mm. I know. Mm -hmm. I've seen someone I know. I looked at the cast list before I didn't notice uh, uh, Reese from uh, Terminator, the first one. I recognize him. Morning, Marines. Is this going to be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt? Still no contact with the colony. A xenomorph may be involved. I only need to know one thing. Where they are. <laughs> I mean, I admire it. Just one of those things managed to wipe out my entire crew. If the colonists have found that ship, then there's no telling how many of them have been exposed. At least they're not making fun of her anymore. How do I get out of this chicken shit outfit? You secure that shit, Hudson. <laughs> secure it. <laughs> I want this thing to go smooth and by the numbers. Now move it, people. So you heard the man <laughs> and you know the drill. Assholes and elbows. <laughs> I know these uh, military speak a lot better than I knew the astronaut scientist stuff in the last one. This makes a lot more sense to me. Whoa, that is a... Maybe is there anything I can do? I don't know. Is there anything you can do? Ugh. Rude. Well, I can drive that loader. Mm. I have a class 2 rating. Be my guest. <laughs> She's just chewing on that. Uh, let's see if she can do it. They've got new uh, technology and stuff. Where you want it? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bay 12, please. Yeah. Cool. That's what we're going to do, sweetheart. We are going to go and get some. <laughs> get some. Good job. Keep this energy. You're going to need it. Absolutely badass. <laughs> She's got to feel so out of place. She lost all her people. Crosslock and drop station secured. What you looking at? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. We're on express elevator to hell. Going down. <laughs> How many drops is this for you, Lieutenant? 38. Sure. Simulated. Oh. How many combat drops? Two, including this one. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay. Well, that's scary. I got a bad feeling about this drop. Ross, you always say I got a bad feeling about this drop. <laughs> when we get back without you, I'll call you folks. Oh gosh! Break, check your camera. There seems to be a malfunction. That's better. <laughs> I am the ultimate badass. Yes. Alright, yeah. gear up. He's so much. Wait a minute, somebody wake up Hicks. <laughs> yeah, he was sleeping. <laughs> Through this. It's impressive. Where's the damn beacon? Remarkable piece of machinery. Completely automated. You know, we manufacture those, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Take us in low over the main colony complex. There's no visible activity. Can imagine her having a sick feeling over this. Like, wouldn't you just feel just sick? Structure seems intact. They still have power. Okay, okay. Feral. Oh, yeesh. That is so gloomy. Second squad online. Hmm, here we go. Uh -huh. That creepy music. Keep it tight, people. Yeah. Stay together. No splitting up. Yeah, they do have new technology. That would be super helpful. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Hmm. Ooh, what'd you get? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, we have a negative situation here. Move it on, sir. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Is that a donut? Back up. Pan right. You seeing this all right? Ooh. Looks melted. Melted. Hmm. That's it for blood. You're gonna love this. Ugh. What the hell's that? Whatever happened here, I think we missed it. Well, that's good. It's not secure. The area is secured, Ripley. We're coming in. Roger. I feel safer already. <laughs> wow. I know what that means. 
Oh, poor Ripley. Are you alright? Yes. Wow, you're actually nice to her. Well, that's refreshing. Everyone's been treating her like crap. He's like the first one that it looks genuine. About time. They sealed off this wing at both ends, but it looks like uh, the barricade didn't hold. Any bodies? No, sir. <sighs> Must have been a hell of a fight. This is like a laboratory or something. They were studying them here. Are those the same ones? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like love at first sight to me. <laughs> I think we got some here. Let's keep moving, baby. Let's hope for some more rats or hamsters or whatever that was. It can't be that easy though, can it? <laughs> closer, closer. <laughs> Ripley. No, <laughs> don't put her up there. Oh, it's a... Oh, that's a little kid. Oh, it's okay. Easy, easy. I got her. Ow! Damn! Why don't let her go! She's under the grill. Ross, your light up here. Oh, you guys are scaring her. She's afraid! Grab her, man. We're gonna lose her. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you poor thing. Ugh. It's gonna be okay. Get the feeling she's seen some things. Oh, and her hair is just so matted. Mm. Oh, I'm glad there's some people left alive or at least one so far that's good now think rebecca where are your parents i think it was the same girl from the beginning total brain lock with the the dad come on we're wasting our time she's traumatized bro <laughs> she's like seven. Oh, that would hurt my heart so bad hard to believe there's a little girl under all this you're one brave kid rebecca newt my name's newt and who is this casey Hello, Casey. Mom and Dad? They're dead already. Oh, oh gosh. Don't you think you'd be safer here with us? It won't make any difference. Oh, that's terrifying. Ew. What is this? This again. Nasty. Do you need anything else? No. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? No. It's gross. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Where'd you come up with that? They're alive? Unknown. Looks like a goddamn town meeting. <laughs> it won't make any difference. That would be so scary to hear from a little kid. They know things, you know? They got like that sixth sense. Oh, wow. Hicks, watch your tails. <laughs> I love how everyone's sticking together. Nobody's going off on their own. Ugh, what is this? What is that? That's what I said. I don't know. Proceed inside. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Just go in. Remember, we're looking for civvies in here. Yeah, I hope we find more. Looks like some sort of secreted resin. But secreted from what? <laughs> Nobody touch nothing. <laughs> yeah. Hot as hell in here. Yeah, man, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> That would be so nasty feeling. Hot and moist. If they fire their weapons in there, won't they rupture the cooling oh, system? Oh, oh, yeah, she's absolutely right. This whole station is basically a big fusion reactor. Oh. She's talking about a thermonuclear explosion. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Pong. Oh my gosh. We can't have any firing in there. I want you to collect magazines from everybody. What the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Scary. Let's go, Marine. Give it up. Go. Mm. That sucks. I'd like to keep this handy for close encounters. Hmm. Oh, oh. No. Go sit up front. Oh, no, no, no. Go on. Now. <laughs> I'm sure she's already seen things. Oh my gosh. They're like, oh, okay. Oh. <sighs> It reminds me of like spider webs or something. Yeah, they're like spiders. Let's finish our sweep. <laughs> We're still Marines and we got a job to do. Oh, they're all staying confident. That's cool. Help! What? We got a live one! Dude, oh. Right. oh. Help me. Give me a hand. 
Talk to me, Hudson. Multiple signals. Oh no. Pull your team out, Gorman. Yeah, yeah. I got signals. Get them out. They're all around us, man. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Basket? Oh. Let's rock. No. I ordered a whole fire. Well. Oh no 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 no. Talk to me, hey, Get them out of there! Hicks, whoever's left, get Just the hell shut out of here! Do what she says! What they gotta the go! Do something! Fuck! Good job, Ripley. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> this again. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Who do we got left? Mm. Uh -huh. Take this. <laughs> oh, oh. Go, go, go. So much. <laughs> oh. Oh jeez. Nice! Ew. <laughs> just guts everywhere. Nasty creature. She does not care. She's just doing it. Ripley! You blow the transaxle! You okay? Get <laughs> away! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't leave our people behind! I ain't going back you in! You can't the help lady. them! Right now they're being cocooned just like the others. <laughs> cocooned. That's a new term. Oh. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Fucking A. <laughs> this installation has a substantial dollar value attached to it. They can bill me. <laughs> yeah, why do you care? <laughs> this is clearly, clearly an important species we're dealing with, and I don't think that you or I has the right to arbitrarily exterminate them. We just got our asses kicked, pal. <laughs> yeah. But I cannot authorize that kind of action. I'm sorry. Corporal Hicks has authority here. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a grunt. I, no offense. None taken. I say we take off, nuke the site from orbit. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah, because at, at that point, who cares about the money? There's. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's crazy. There's always one. Hold on a second. There's something. Just get up here. Okay. Whew. Good job! Spunkmeyer. Mm-mm. Well, where the fu- <laughs> Seriously? Okay. There goes that. You know, they were so close. Where's the real pretty shit now, man? You finished? No. I guess we're not gonna be leaving now. It wasn't your fault. It's game over, man. It's game over. We better get back, cause it'll be dark soon. And they mostly come at night. Mostly. <laughs> mostly. And they're all resigned, these two, because they've seen everything already. They're like dead inside. That's so sad. Hi, this is absolutely everything. That ain't so good. Don't touch that. <laughs> it's dangerous. How long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue? 17 days. Why so long? I'm not gonna last 17 hours. <laughs> this little girl survived longer than that with no weapons and no training. Right? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, he's losing it. I mean... <laughs> relax. Relax. Just relax. Easy. I'll be in med lab. You do that. Yeah, you weirdo. I don't blame her for not trusting him. It turned out so poorly last time. So this service tunnel must be how they're moving back and forth. It moves from the processing station. 
<laughs> All right, people, let's move like we've got a purpose. Here, I want you to put this on. It's a locator. Then I can find you anywhere in the complex. It's just a precaution. Oh. Doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> He's actually taking her seriously from the beginning, I feel like. He was never mean to her. I like him. Now you lie here and have a nap. I don't want to have scary dreams. <laughs> My bad Casey doesn't have scary dreams. She doesn't have bad dreams because she's just a piece of plastic. Right. This poor kid. She's hardened. She's aged here. That's so sad. My mommy always said there were no monsters. Mm. Why did they tell little kids that? <laughs> Most of the time it's true. Take this. For luck. I'm not gonna leave you, Newt. <laughs> the molecular acid oxidizes after the creature's death. Bishop, you know, that's very interesting, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. <laughs> she hates him. Maybe it's like an ant hive. One female that runs the whole show. She's badass, man. I mean, big. <laughs> Mr. Burke gave instructions that they were to be kept alive in stasis. Those two specimens are worth millions to the bioweapons division. We will be set up for life. I don't think she cares about that. You sent them to that ship. You're wrong. I just checked the colony log. You sent them out there and you didn't even warn them. These people are dead, Burke! You're not gonna sleaze your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look like he cares. People died. What's going on? They're coming. Where? In the tunnel. Man, it's a shooting gallery down there. 60 rounds left on B. 40. 20. They're wall to wall in there. I heard them screaming. They're at the pressure door. Very pretty, Bishop, but what are we looking for? <laughs> That's it. Emergency venting. How long till it blows? Four hours. Oh, we've got to get the other dropship from the Sulaco. Somebody's going to have to go out there. You can count me out. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. All right, man. Bishop should go. I like it. I may be synthetic, but I'm not stupid. Can you feel pain? That's what I want to know. I, I kind of like Bishop though. I don't know why he seems just. He's nice, he's reasonable. Mm. <laughs> They're retreating. Guns stop them. They're probably looking for other ways to get in. That'll take them a while. So maybe we got them demoralized. Sure. <laughs> Can't afford to let one of those bastards in here. Stressful. Just like I expected. How long's it been since you got any sleep? She sleeps like crap anyway. Hicks, I'm not gonna end up like those others. Here comes to that. Yeah. I'll do us both. Thank you. That's what I would say. This is an M41A pulse rifle. Okay. What do I do? <laughs> now, you know, that is so familiar to me. Because I just watched uh, Terminator. Right. Huh? This. <laughs> Lean into it. How do you feel? All right, I guess. One hell of a hangover. Hmm, he looks fine. I wasn't expecting him to be up and about. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this little kid! All she does is run and hide. I'm not sure how long she was living like that. A long time, it looks like. Mm mm. At least it's small. Hey! Oh. Yo! Oh, it looked like he saw her. Break the glass! Are you serious? What a crappy person. How could you? She's very resourceful. Yeah, they're on their way. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah, this guy sucks. He figured that he could get an alien back to quarantine if one of us was impregnated. <laughs> and then frozen for the trip home. <laughs> Nobody would know. You dog me, pal. Yeah. All right, we waste him. They cut the power. 
Let's move! Gorman, watch Burke! That sucks, they gotta watch a stupid human. They've got all this against them. They gotta worry about this dude on top of it. There's movement all over the place! They found a way in. Something we missed. 12 meters! 11. Mm. Remember, short controlled bursts. Six. It's right there. Five meters, man. Four. Oh, it, it's in there. Oh, gosh. This guy. You little slimy coward. <laughs> that was the nastiest one we've seen yet. Which way is it to the landing field from here? This way. Oh, not the tunnels. Ah! Oh, hell no. Holy crap. <laughs> There's just so many! It was bad enough when there was one last time. You always were an asshole, Gorman. <laughs> Dude! Hit! <laughs> Come on, we can find her with this! Oh, yeah, yeah. She got the uh, bracelet. It's kind of sad about those other two. But I'm glad they didn't get killed by the alien. Their numbers are dwindling. Really? Not the little kid. Oh no 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 no. That can burn through like floors. Burns through everything. Come on! <laughs> he's all messed up. Oh. He's still around. Most of everyone has died. I was hoping for more than that. We're not leaving! <laughs> ah! Oh, I like this music. <laughs> the robot is just so calm. It wouldn't be so bad to be a robot in this situation. Ripley. Jeez. I don't want to hear about it, Bishop. Hicks, don't let him leave. We ain't going anywhere. Dwayne. Ellen. Don't be gone long, Ellen. Attention. Oh my gosh, I hope. I just, I hope. Oh, stressful. Oh, you can barely see down there. She could, s oh, never mind. Oh, gross. Oh, she is alive. Ooh, what the? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> oh, nasty! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! You got her? Eh. Oh my gosh! Why is there so many? You found it. Ugh. What? What are we looking at? Ugh. This thing is something else. Why is it breathing like that? <laughs> You're doing it. Oh gosh. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> well, 
Why does it need that many teeth? <laughs> They're doing it. Bishop! God damn you! <laughs> she came all this way? Are you serious? Mm -mm -mm -mm. They wouldn't do that to you. They wouldn't do it. They said they wouldn't. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Close your eyes, baby. Get your... We're not out yet. <laughs> I know this. Oh wow. Hey. Ooh. I made it. I knew you'd come. He's gonna be alright. Oh good. Did anyone else make it? I don't think anyone else did, huh? Four people? There were so many. You did okay. I did. Oh yeah. Well, you're not a traitor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Are you serious? Ugh, I hate the way it walks. Oh, but I was just starting to like him. What is this? Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on, Ripley. You got this. You came this far. There's a, there's a little one inside it. What is this? <laughs> I'm just squishing it. Okay. Good job! Oh, he's nasty! That looks like victory. That's the best we can do. Hold me! Oh god! I thought she said hold me. Not bad for it. Human. You did good, but you are looking so bad. Gruesome. That is just gnarly. I'm so glad he can't feel that, hopefully. Oh, shoot. Are we gonna sleep all the way home? All the way home. Can I dream? I think we both can. <laughs> sleep tight. High affirmative. Oh my gosh. You know, you just keep expecting something to come around the corner again. But I think this might be it. They really do get to sleep. That was... that was a lot. Okay, so that was a good sequel. I feel like so many of my questions were answered. It felt so much more final than the last one. And this movie had a completely different feeling about it from the beginning. Um, there was less of this dread, spooky, slow-paced, creeping, whatever. And I feel like it was replaced by this faster paced, more action, uh, more characters. And I really liked that about this one. I feel like the characters were more fleshed out. You were able to become invested in them. You knew a little bit more about them. And you actually gave a damn if they died or not. You were actually rooting for some and very, very glad when one who remains unnamed passed away. As usual, this outro is gonna be all over the place. I apologize in advance. So I'm really glad I watched the director's cut. Usually I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna watch the theatrical version because it's more like what people are gonna be seeing in the theater and I wanna experience it as close to that as I can. But I had too many people saying, you're gonna miss out um, if you don't do that. So 
I don't want to miss out. I hate missing out. Obviously, since this is the only one I've seen, I don't know the difference. So I looked up the differences between this one and the theatrical cut, and it looks like they added the whole part about Amanda, um, Ripley's 66-year-old daughter who died two years before. <laughs> that was so sad. I'm almost wishing I didn't see that, to be honest. But it gives more of a reason for um, Ripley to immediately feel this, you know, maternal sense of, you know, protective um, affection towards um, Newt right away because, you know, she's, she's a little girl and she's, you know, just a little bit younger than Amanda was when Ripley last saw her when she left her on Earth and promised that she would be back by her 11th birthday. Apparently they added the part where the Jordan family goes to discover that, um, <laughs> uh, my mind, I can't, I can't think of the word. Um, and they get attacked by the, you know, um, again, my words are escaping me. I don't know what it would be like if you didn't see that before. I guess it would be more of a reveal when they get to Hadley's Hope or whatever. Yeah, that part was scary. And you got to see a Newt as this like clean, regular looking little kid before she's absolutely traumatized and all matted and gnarled and so sad. They also added the uh, the, the name exchange between um, Hicks and Ripley. You know, um, Dwayne. He doesn't look like a Dwayne, just saying. He looks like, he looks like a Kyle. And that was a problem for me. I was having a hard time um, <laughs> because I just saw Terminator very recently. I was having a hard time because he plays such a similar character here. And I feel like, you know, he's again, the love interest. I really liked that. I feel like they didn't really have much of that in the last one, but this, this was nice because I really liked him. He was cool. And I feel like the whole exchanging of first names kind of brought a new level of peace before the next storm broke out, you know? I thought it, it was going, it was full of action, then it's just like, Dwayne. It was just like, calm down for a second. <laughs> Honestly, I like, I like that. It was a welcome break from the tension and dread that tone of the entire film. But then again, the pacing of the director's cut probably negated that, you know, that break by making it just a longer movie. I'm sure they were able to add scenes here and there. I can't really tell. So, so let's talk about the characters. I really liked Hicks. He's just kind of a, he's just a stand-up guy. He's just reliable. He's loyal. He didn't ditch uh, Ripley or Newt. Um, and he very well could have to save his own tail. Um, Bishop, I liked him too. Um, he added this whole level of mistrust and uh, conflict that we wouldn't have had without him because, you know, he's an android. Ripley's not going to trust him right off the bat. I did find myself asking the question over and over, can, can Bishop feel pain? Because like, oh, I hope not really <laughs> because he, he's not human so like what i don't think he can because like when he's playing the game um he's playing the game with um hudson uh <laughs> he, he he gets you know he gets injured but he d apparently doesn't even notice or feel it so hopefully not because the whole scene where he's getting torn in half Oh, I just hope he didn't feel anything. And that, that brings the question, you know, can, are the aliens, you know, are they as threatened by him or is he as, I forget what I was going to say. I wrote it down. So I wonder if the aliens saw him as they saw humans, maybe a threat, but not as scrumptious. That was my question that I had for you guys. Was he scrumptious? I don't know. So I really liked Private Hudson. Um, he's overly confident. He's kind of arrogant. He's like the class clown of this group of people. I guess Bill Paxton likes to play these these horrible, uh, disagreeable characters, but like he makes them likable. He turns like someone who's so unlikable into someone who's likable. I like Hudson because he's 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 scared and he might be perceived as a coward or whatever, but in the end he redeems himself and like what kind of person wouldn't be afraid? You'd have to be stupid to not be afraid. Like bravery isn't about not being scared. It's about facing your fears. I'm so deep. 
according to The Guardian, yes, I actually read articles and watch interviews and stuff for the outros, I like to know as much as I can, fit it into a small amount of time, um, just so I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. It's kind of getting me up to speed. Anyway, according to my source, um, Paxton actually came up with the phrase, he improvised the phrase, uh, game over, man, game over, you know, and his voice cracks and all that. They just kept that in because they were like, that's good, that's funny or whatever. He's just like the comedic relief that we didn't have in the last movie. So yeah, very refreshing. Rest in peace. You're awesome. Oh, before I forget, my favorite part was when um, Hicks jumps through the med lab window. That is so cool. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it again, even though I'm sure you've seen it. That is so cool. I thought it was interesting the way they did it in this movie. Like, we're picking up basically where we left off, except it's been, you know, decades. Um, but, you know, in the beginning, Ripley doesn't know that. So it feels like it hasn't been a long time. She looks the same, so we kind of don't process it that way because it doesn't exist. It's science fiction. Ripley doesn't let her PTSD keep her from seeking closure and making sure that the colony on LV-426 uh, is okay. She's not swayed by Burke's offers of money or fame or anything like that. She is selfless. She wants to make sure that these things are destroyed because nobody understands. Nobody has seen it except for her. She lost all her friends, all her people. Now she has no one, not even her kid. She's selfless. She goes back for Newt as she went back for that cat 57 years ago. You know, she risked her life for that. Uh, well, is there. Gorman, the commanding officer, I feel like he meant well, but everything was a disaster. I get it. Like, he's not gonna tell everyone his reasoning, like, oh, why can't you, why can't we fire or whatever. It's not his job to say, oh, here's, here's why and all that. You know, that's not really how it works in the military. You just kind of follow the orders and that's it. Um, but I, gosh, I really wish there was some way he could have said that. Um, and he could have just listened to Ripley. I find myself saying that a few times throughout this series is, guys, uh, listen, listen to Ripley. Very frustrating. I just wish he would have listened to Ripley a little bit sooner, even if it did sound far-fetched. You better, you know, cover your butt. It's outer space. You don't take chances. There's no such thing as being too cautious in outer space. I, I, I don't know. I just thought he was pretty cool, a pretty solid guy. Like, he wasn't led by ego or greed. And I actually liked the way he died by going back to rescue Vasquez. I felt like that was a really nice way to die. I also liked the way that Burke died. Really tickled my pickle. Not a minute too soon. His betrayal of Ripley and Newt was just unhuman. Not inhumane, unhuman. Like, he was the android in this situation. Total robot, only cared about money, just <laughs> That was crazy, he just like sees them in there and he's just like doesn't care, but I guess it was a good setup for Hicks to come in and break through the glass. <laughs> Another scene that I thought was really cool was the power loader scene with the sergeant and Ripley and Hicks, um, where she kind of just shows them, oh, I, I'm actually capable, you can trust me, and they're just like, oh, cool, glad to have you on our team. That's how I interpreted it. How they laughed was just kind of like, oh, we kind of accept you onto our team, and that was that. Um, super simple, smooth, and it kind of prepared the audience for um, the finale without giving anything away. I totally wasn't expecting to see that machinery again, and it was just nice to see because uh, that stuff is cool to me. Like, I can drive a forklift. I'm certified, I'm awesome, and so is Ripley, apparently. I just like to see that sort of thing. Like, I just thought it was cool, man. Oh, and of course, I'm dumb. I didn't know that when um, uh, Newt goes to hug Ripley, she's like, Mommy! I missed that. Dumb. I thought she said hold me. Anyway, I could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. You know how I do, but I'm not gonna do that this time. If you want more content, like full-length reactions, or if you just want to support the channel, you can visit my Patreon. I'll link it below. If not, that's totally cool. I had fun. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!